all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the react toolkit so this is the library which we can use for uh, printing any kind of element into the react yes like when when we're writing the code and we have to print any kind of uh, like, uh, component area so we can print over here so you see this react to print print to react component into the browser so it doesn't matter like you have to print on you can print only the component part you can also print any kind of SQL element you just need to define a ref over there like reference and uh, you can just get it okay so there's a hook also come with this use react to print so into that one also you can define these props and you can use it easily so there are a few props like you see the content copy styles document title fonts and all after you get content so these kind of props which you can use let's suppose if you want to do something after the print method let's suppose you want to print by from the modal and once you print it you want to close Model. How will you do this? You just need to use this method over there and write your logic, whatever it is. Okay, same for this one on before get content. So let's suppose you want to modify some content when you are just going to print it. So on that time, you can use this one and you can just modify the content which is going to come into your print, uh, like uh, PDF print, and after that, uh, you can see it over there. And once you close the modal, you just need to uh, run this method. And make everything on the normal stage so that's how you can do it so let's go into the sad board sandbox and we'll see how it works okay so you see the code is written already over here this is the sample code is coming and also uh, if you see there's a one button is given so if i click on this button so you see on before the got get content is loading uh, it will show you this kind of print over here okay so this is what it is doing actually it will go give you the like uh, the printer modal and into this one so this is by default coming from the browser side which you can if you have any connected printer over here so you can just uh, click on it and get the printer name and just save it so it will just uh, put the screenshot into the printer and it will give you the print so that's how it works so it's normal like control b b2 into the like any document file or excel file because the printer so the same kind of thing over here you just need to click on that button and it will fire the function and open the print for you so this is the content over here which which one it is printing right now and there are some code so you see there are few examples over here so it is for class component class context so there are so many examples so i'm just going to be showing you the function component and function component with the hook okay so in the function comment it's pretty and straightforward you just need to wrap everything inside this react to print and if you want to use the prop so you can use it like this one so you have to wrap the component inside this react to print and then you use it okay or assign the reference of that so how you will assign the reference so you just need to use this kind of ref so you see what use ref null component ref and once uh, your ref Gonna be, you have to uh, initialize that ref into the component and then once you will click on the button so it will take the ref component like ref.current and it will like uh, show that into that print modal okay so same thing is this component with function so same changes gonna be coming over here as well so functional component to print so it's showing over here so different different kind of scenarios Created into the example, but everything is kind of same. There's not, not much different. So we're gonna be looking at the hook part because that is kind of pretty easy to implement because you you don't have to use any kind of component, react to component into the JSX. You just need to use the hooks hook like that is gonna be kind of callback method. So let's suppose you have to slice one button over here. So handle print it when it whenever it will call the handle print, it will go into the hook and there is that hook. So it would be side over there. so you see this use react to print so handle print so it will call this hook and after that you just have to initialize all the props over here and it will take it as it is okay see your ref also would be defined over here somewhere so component ref so react to print so you see this react to print is returning the component ref like element so in the content you have to pass the ref element which one you want to print it okay so that's how it gonna work so in content make sure in the content you have to pass the html element whether you can type it like uh, raw html over here or you can type uh, like event or target you can just print it over here so that's how also it's gonna work and uh, 
Yeah, that's it. That that's inside of this. So whether print like putting this React to print library into the JSX part, you can just directly uh, using the hook over here, and you can make the print that I'm working. Okay, so that's how it works. So let's uh, see. Uh, let's go to the index.js and see which one is included over here. Uh, class component function component with hook. So if we go over here, function component other examples. Uh, function component function component with hook. So you see this is the tab, and if I click on it, so it's working same as it is. Uh, you see this has opened it for me okay so this was the pretty small example because recently i got to use this one so that's why i thought that like, i should share, share it on my channel and that's that so i found this is this one pretty useful because i don't have to do any changes into the jsx just use this uh, uh, hook and make the print so that one is very useful i found it we are working with a class based component or something so you can use these methods over here which is already defined you don't have to go anywhere and uh, and you can find this link directly on the react to print uh, npm library file so and you can just come over here okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll video let me know let me know if you have any doubt any query on this one if you if it is not working for you.